Uh, so in conversation, we were kind of talking about culture and the way it's consumed uh, and the difference of the way it's consumed kind of from the generation that I grew up in. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I will tell you that I come from the era of uh, CDs and actual real radio, wake up show, uh, you know, big the real like big boy in the morning. Uh, the Baker Boys, mm -hmm. um, burn CDs, burn CDs, you know, shit like that. Like that's how we uh, consumed our music. If it wasn't a burn CD, it was going to the Tower Records or the Sam Goody. Yep, and, yep. Uh, Best Buy, the warehouse, the over warehouse there of, uh, um, Centinella. Yeah, over there at the Dare Center. I remember going there. Hey, it was burning yep. CDs illegal or no? It, it was illegal. Yeah, it was illegal. That was my first hustle. Yo, yeah, hey, yeah. I had I was a CD man at school, bro. Yeah, he was. So John, so John, when we were in high school, John was the CD dude. Like before we were ever friends, he was the dude that I bought CDs from. You know? Man. <laughs> and how I kept buying it because I'm like. Okay, I want this, I want this, because I was up on the music heavy, and he would always have it. I'm like, damn, I didn't think he was going to get that one. I remember I asked him <laughs> to get me the Exhibit I album. I forget the name of it, but uh, not his first one. But anyway, you know, he came right with it. Next day, boom, no problem. I'm like, damn, I like this dude. He's providing the music. So we just we got, we, we became cool after that. See, music See? bring people together. But then you fast forward from that, burning CD, CDs of whatever caliber, mm -hmm. right? And then, uh, shit, that, that was high school. There wasn't no cell phones unless you borrowed your mama's cell phone, right? right? And the Nokia's, them indestructible Nokia's with the face plate that you could pop off. <laughs> uh, you remember yeah, those? that was my first phone. That was your first phone? Yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely old. Um, so, after that, you know, the... What was it? The I ninety five Nokia uh, Nef, uh, Next Tales with the chirp. Next Tail, yeah. Next yeah, yeah, yeah. I the used chirp. to bust through. I was not now, sitting on the Because you had a Boost Mobile. That's why. That's exactly. That's what the why. Because I, I definitely understand that people with Next Tales had what's called etiquette. Niggas that had Boost Mobile were probably from the East Side. Where you at? <laughs> ah, and were, that's crazy. Shout out to the East Side. <laughs> Don't disrespect to the East Side, but Shout niggas, out to the East Side. The Boost Mobile shit. No, a lot shit. of real ones that yeah, came from that. Yeah, much. absolutely. Hey, so around that time, that was when we was really disrupting class with our with our phones. Yeah, going up, dude, because right? niggas would come straight through instead of like you right. know there's a you can alert first. Yeah, niggas wouldn't alert. They just come through. Hey, nigga, and you at work? I had that happen at work once or twice where I'm like, dude, come on, I'm at work. Alert me first. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a, I had a, at that time I had a Nextel for work. It was a yeah. work phone. Yeah. So I, somebody coming through saying, "Hey, nigga, <laughs> that's nah, that's the work phone." I'm standing in front of my boss. So you know, I feel you like that, have gave him that chirp. No. That's yeah. Well, that's what talking. it came down to, bro. That's when that Boost Mobile hit the scene. But you know, still the the best that we could do for music on the phone at that point in time was ringtones, right? And so. Ringtones changed how music was, you know. Uh, yep. Ring you know ring ringtones made work. a lot of rappers a lot of money. You did the ringtones too. I, did. I put ringtones on yeah. people's phones. Yeah, I, did every I was doing everything. Damn, where you used to do that from? Like your house? Yeah, at the house, uh, bro. I plug your phone yeah. into the computer and I, what section you want? You want yeah. these lyrics right here? I'll chop it up in SoundForge, throw it in the you. converter, and put it on your phone. And I'll tell you, my, my, first, uh, my first ringtone was Be Brazy Girls Like This. Which is uh, <laughs> which I respect because for for somebody that's of that younger uh, younger younger uh, age group, yeah. that's respectful that you uh, you know about the real shit. Yeah. But you know you think about ringtones, right? How we consume music or dictated the type of music we listen to. Like there's a whole subgenre called yeah. ringtone music, right? Yeah. And that was kind of, that was the the success of Soldier Boy. Right. Right. So going forward, you know, with that same stuff in mind, what y'all think about today's music and how much does cell phones and internet dictate the future or the future progress or the future trajectory of music? Now we had, we went from ringtones and Soldier Boy, so kind of like jingle rap, ringtone rap. Now we got uh what like subscription services we don't even actually buy 
albums or buy singles no more now we just buy a service that gives us access to it y'all think that that makes any difference does it dictate how the music is made or the quality of music that we get now that is so readily available right here in our hands well, I pay ten dollars a month for Apple Music, bro. Right, and subscription I listen to service. Whatever the fuck I want to listen to, except mixtapes and shit like that. Right, I hate that because currency on Apple Music is not the real currency. Yeah, that's out there, bro. Sure. That shit he got on uh, Apple Music is like the whack currency. Water down. What's the other one? Dat Piff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. shit got the smashes. Spin Rilla got a lot of shit on there now. Spin Rilla. Spin Rilla. I don't have that on there in a long time. Righteous. They updated it up. Okay. That. So I'm saying, well, do y'all think that it's affected music? Like, you know, do you think music has gotten better or I worse think, at the advent of technology or the application of it? I think that um, for the consumer, it's better now and a lot easier to get your music, especially a little cheaper. Right. Um, for the artist, I don't think so much. I seen an interview with Brian McKnight recently. I don't know if y'all seen that mm -hmm. with the sexy white girl that's always talking about random shit, but. Um, she was telling him, he was talking about how it's hard to make a lot of money now, you know, yeah, uh, for him. being an artist. Because your music's every fucking where, and you're not always to make money off every avenue where your music is at. So I think the music now is made more for the consumer to take advantage of it, you know what I mean, well, than the artist. I think it's, I got two points on that. I think one, if the internet was out around the time, like with the other artists, I think half the artists will be corny too. Like if the Fuck niggas yeah. had the internet, a lot of niggas from like the nineties and the early two thousands, yeah. a lot of them niggas would be corny too. Cause then it'll be like you got like Birdman, right? Mm -hmm. Birdman got videos throwing up seeds all blue, but then these niggas is big bloods, blood tattoos on their head and shit like that. In the internet age, niggas would have put that right up. Immediately when you <laughs> went to the blood and yep. they would have found that video when you put up videos when you was a crip and da 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 da. So it'd be like a lot of the lame shit that niggas do now, it's just a re it's a repeat of the shit that was happened before. But on the other side too, you were saying that you think that music is able to be taken taken advantage of more now. I think because so. it's so everywhere. But at the same time, you agree with that I, though? Uh, kind of. Yeah. I mean, but at the same time, it's kind of like for the artist, it gives the artist a better, an independent artist, a better opportunity to make more Facts. money off of it rather than the people back in the day. Because right. the music was never really the money makers. Everything else around them, like, around Facts. the music, the music is the driving driving focus of it. So. What are you saying? And now, I'm saying like period. Like music is is like the is like the the base, and then off the music, that's how you're marketing everything. You're driving people to buy merchandise through music. You're driving people to buy uh, music through music videos. Or but that's more music videos through music. But that's more pronounced now than it than it was like <clears throat> like you said prior oh, to yeah. social media. Like you know when hip hop was in its infancy. Niggas would sell vinyl or s tapes, or right. you know, and, you know, CDs was popping, and that's where they would make money. Outside of that, it was shows. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Maybe some merch here and there, but the 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 money was really coming from the sales of the album or mm -hmm. the single or whatever. You know, they had maxi singles back then. You remember, Ma you you know, maxi singles where you had the A side and the B side. You might have had a single. And the different versions of that single, right. and a remix, and on the B side, it's a album of album filler or another single. But, that's, but, you know what I mean? Was that by the record label's design, or was that by the artist's design? Because I don't think I think if the artist had they wait with it, I don't think they would have waited that long to drop music how they was back then. Nah, it was it was a necessity reason because it wasn't immediate. You know what I mean? It wasn't like an immediate push where like today. You can go in the studio tonight, mm -hmm. and then it could be to your consumer base later tonight. Right. You feel me? Facts. Back then, technology wasn't what it was, so every part of the process took longer. Recording it, right? Mixing, mastering, then you gotta go press it. Like It mm -hmm. wasn't like you just left right. the studio with a CD like that. Right. You know what I mean? You, right. you gotta, they was on them big two inch reels, and mm -hmm. they gotta, you know, bounce it down. Yeah, and I, I, all I of that like that. the fades wasn't automatic. They literally had to fade out. Yeah. Like, I, I don't then really once you press it, platinum shit like that, this shit, like hmm? as it is before. I don't like when niggas say they gonna platinum. Like, I don't really, like, I don't really take that. It's, that's that's the other side to it. I don't really take that serious. Like Cardi B said, like I went platinum right away. Like uh, the, the song was platinum already, so I made an album platinum. It don't make no sense. Yeah. That doesn't really mean anything. That, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I said on the on the flip side of it. Doing numbers don't mean the same thing as doing numbers back then too. Though. But don't say. Do you think that affects 
music the, game. The way that, like the fact that at the end game, music is consumed this way, it may be even be too readily available. Like there might even be too there. much music out there. Does that make music like? I think it's too much music. When they make it, does there's it, a whole lot of. Because I feel like it might it might put them in a place where they don't. Sometimes. You know, if you know that there's so much music out there and you can release so much, it becomes about quanti quantity and no longer about quality. That's yeah. that's what I see. I see that the you know Instagram and social media demands so much content for you that instead of concentrating on making four songs fire, you'd rather put out eight. I records because you got to have content. You got to have content all the time. You got to have a record and then a mixtape, then an EP. Chad, what but, you think about this shit, man? God, I think uh, the, the the market is super oversaturated. Definitely. Uh, it's so much coming out. I can't even, you can't even keep up uh, with all the music that is coming out. Right. And because of it, I think that uh, the music, in my opinion, uh, across the board has been watered down because of it to be quite honest because stuff is coming out so fast and sometimes to make great music it takes time so Definitely. the time is not being taken anymore so sometimes you hear a lot of this stuff that come out it's real uh bubble gum and and kiddie-ish but it's catchy and it's uh you know popular in the mainstream Right, 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 right. But do you, do you think that uh, social media and, the, you know, again, the way that we consume music really has a, a big part in, in that? Or oh, it's huge. It's huge. It's all about, uh, if you're an artist, how popular you are. No disrespect to Cardi B. I, I, it's amazing she's done what she's done. I right. never expected a, a reality star to do what she did. I do respect the hustle and the muscle, but at the same time, she is very popular. But how she did back it up, that first single she had, it hit. And that's how she backed it up. But her popularity ushered her to that point, mm -hmm. but she backed it up by knocking out uh, a home run with that single. I forget the name of it. Oh, that yellow. Oh, that yellow. Yeah, well, it's so. it's crazy, that nigga, like, that's really, but how the music game go, like, yeah. She gets a Grammy for that, right? She gets a Grammy for her album, right? Right. And so, but you got like her most credited song. Kodak Black owns the majority of that song, though. Because mm. that's 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 uh no flocking. Yeah. So like she took the whole shit from no flocking. That's the whole cadence, the whole verse, all that shit. So it's kind of like even down mm. to the, even down to the title. Facts. You can see the title how it's uh. Yeah. Kodak 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 for sure. yeah. Hey, let me. Uh, for, I want to stop acting like I know how the fucking music industry works, but I know one thing from a consumer standpoint. I'd like to not pay for some shit, and I want some hot shit. Which so you mean, so you, like, so I, 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 I don't want to pay for the music I listen to. Well, that's know? cool, because I, I want to... it seems like I can hear this shit for free, though. Yeah, well, it's dope, because I want a dope-ass haircut for free, too, so... But that's not fucking happening. All right, but, so that's, yeah, that's my point, no, bro. No, what I'm saying is... So can I, I go I'm, to the shop and get a cut for free? But what, no, absolutely not. But okay, what I'm okay. getting at All is right, that right. I think that most consumers, like myself, you know, they don't know how the industry works. You know, mm -hmm. they're just listening to what they hear. True. They don't even know how it's being marketed to them. You know what I'm saying? And kind of like to your, your point earlier, it's not about what you're saying, but what's hot. You know what I'm saying? Like that um, Tatiana shit. Oh, Lord. Like, I'm into quality music. And if my favorite rapper is Nas, then Blueface probably ain't on my top 10 or 20 list. Nah. Yeah. But I am caught up in that in that catchy hit. I wouldn't wipe my ass with his promo material. Bro. So so <laughs> what I'm what I'm saying is that the consumers don't know how this shit works. I don't think so. That's not as much knowledge as they should. I don't have. think they care. Right. They just that's, their music. They don't give the a fuck. consumer the consumer, especially in America, is greedy. They don't care about the, the process and the right. the method of music. They want their music. And they want it now and they want it at the And they want it cheap. And they want it instantly. Yeah, absolutely. And Amazing. and therefore you get when anytime you get saturation and, and it's so much, you get less Quality. Yeah, I agree. I was gonna yeah, say like it's, drops up. I see why you say you want it for free because it's like it's so much of I it. You get gold. tired of music fast. Gold is hard to right? find. It's like what the fuck? It's like this shit. This shit coming out. This shit coming out. This shit coming out. Like you said, like people put out 
eight so-so records over four great records and then it's like okay i can hear this shit for the first two three times fuck with the beat and then it's like all right i'm on to the next one that might go on the gym playlist or some shit like that when it pop back up on the shuffle but i'm not going back to that to hear that shit over and over and over so R- rappers literally have two weeks to push the album after that it's old <laughs> think about that yeah that's sad i unless, never thought i'd see it yeah unless you have a multitude of other things around you that yeah. you promote. That's, yeah. But that's rare. That's, that's, that's talking rare. about an established artist. Mm-hmm. The Drakes. I got the, you. I got the you. J. Coles. They, 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 they're marinated a little bit longer, but it, not as long as it used to. Right. You're I right. remember when Jay used to uh, drop albums, it will bang for the whole summer. Right. Can you know one of I mean? you guys explain to me definitely. how it is I can pay $10 a month for Apple Music, but yet I have access to all of these artists and all of their music, and how do they still... Paid off these. Well, they get well, paid, to me, and, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, these are the music guys, but I, I think it's just basically they cutting their losses. They were, it, it was so much uh, bootlegging going on that they wasn't getting anything. At least they're getting nice. a penny now. And they figured, like, we lost anyway, so let's do this subscription right. stuff. And so everybody street, calm down on the whole bootleg and stuff, though we can yeah. still do That's it. That's exactly but. was the, that was, it was definitely the comp, comp, uh, comp. Combat bootlegging. What's a stream though? Like to be clear, it's a streaming is a, streaming is it's a term that is best uh, described against downloading, right? So downloading is where you download it and it's stored on your device, whether it's your computer or your phone. Streaming is where you can listen. The data is still sent to your phone, but it's not downloaded. So meaning every time you listen to it, it has to be pulled from the internet gotcha. whereas if you download you pull it from the internet but it's stored on your device so when you play it the second time right it's played off of your device okay. streaming means that every time you listen to it it's being pulled from the internet so search type in drake today type in drake tomorrow type in drake the day after that he's getting he's counting those streams he's getting paid for each stream yeah wow that's yeah. fucking dope which is what well, it's I dope but the, you, the people who getting paid yeah. are the Drakes. You remember Taylor Swift? She took her music off. Of, what was it? Uh, Spotify. Mm-hmm. Because after su- super millions of streams, she got like a seventeen thousand dollar check so, or something I, like that, so, or something smaller than that. It might have been seventeen hundred dollars. So whatever it was me. for whatever million she billion uh, streams she had, the money was not even close to the you know comparable. Like whatever you think you would get paid. Put it like this: if she would have had that many million. Uh, spins, which is kind of the same idea, but on radio, she would have a f- lot more money, a few hundred thousand dollars coming in. So some of the consumers every, got the shit for free. But everything is, everyone is different. So I got the, I got the pricing chart on my phone. So Price it's like, but when that's based on like the algorithm, right? Yeah. Depending but, but upon who actually gets money see, for their spins, because it's, it's every, it's every single streaming service on here. So you can quantify everything. So let's say you take Spotify, you get point zero zero four. Three seven of a cent for per pitch, stream. FYI. Right. That's but not heard, even. That's not even. I heard, one I heard that changes the changes. Uh, this is the most recent one I just came. But I heard out. that that flux that that price Flux-based fluctuates depending upon point. like that algorithm where it's like, it if you're on the lower tier you right. get paid less. If you're on this the higher is, this tier, is independent artists. These, these these numbers are often independent artists. Yeah. No, I hear what you're saying, but like I heard even like it's it's not a static number. It's not a number that's just like. Us point four whatever is you feel me? It changes depending upon what tier you're in. If you're uh, like a person that like me, like I say, I put a record out there today, and I only getting twenty people to go listen to it. I, right. I heard that you won't even I won't even get that. If I'm twenty million, you're in a, the algorithm puts you in a different tier where you get paid mm-hmm. more per per per. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not hundred percent uh, sure. I just. But and I mean, the point that, you was that trying that to make, Vic, was what? What was the point you were trying to make, though? I was just trying to make the point that basically, it's chump change. It's it's very much a chump change, and but it's, it's the way it's flipped is on this chart they show that title pays the most money per streams. Okay. And that's that's a fact. Everybody yeah. knows title pays the most money per streams. Okay. But the flip is we have iPhones. Majority of people have iPhones, so instant gratification leads to you just getting Apple Music because when you cut your phone off. The Apple Music pop up outside your phone before title wouldn't even pop up outside your phone, so right. you couldn't play music with your phone locked or nothing like that. Right. So it shifts to consumer base too, 
taking pennies over bigger money because of the fact that more people are going to see you. They think the law of averages is going to make you more money than actually getting more money on hey, the dollar. what you so say is crazy because that makes a big fucking difference how you can use, listen to iTunes while your phone is locked, bro. Yeah. That's almost like an ultimate oh, advantage God. of music apps to have, bro. So convenient. Yeah. Hey, think about every car. CarPlay is set up to match with Apple Music. Yeah, that's fucking it bananas, is. Bro. It I makes it shit. it makes it easier to use that one than any other ones. But uh, we we'll have to have have that conversation later. Catch y'all in the next segment. Deuces. We'll be right back. <laughs>